To start our series on Portable QRP, I'll add a GPS dongle to keep the time updated on the Raspberry Pi, next on Broken Signal. I've added the commands used in the description below so you can follow along. Let's start by making sure the Pi is up to date. Type sudo apt-git space update. Then sudo apt-git space upgrade. Now we will install the needed software by typing sudo apt dash y install gpsd gpsd dash clients python dash gps crony and hit enter. I received a message saying python gps is not available. We can install the replacement packages, so type sudo apt-y install gpsd-tools gpsd-clients. Once that finishes, type sudo apt-y install gpsd gpsd clients crony and hit enter. Next we will modify the gpsd file by typing sudo nano slash etc slash default slash gpsd. Set GPSD options to dash N. Then set devices to slash dev slash TTY ACM0. Make sure USB auto is set to true. Then click Control X, then Y, then enter to save. Now reboot the Pi. We can check the software is installed correctly by typing system control is dash active gpsd and system control is dash active crony d. Now verify the dongle is working by typing xgps in the terminal. Here we can see the dongle is working correctly. Now we will modify the crony.config file by typing sudo nano slash etc slash crony slash crony.conf. At the bottom of the file, type ref clock shm 0 offset 0.5 Delay 0.2 REFID NMEA. Then click Control X, then Y, then Enter to save. Finally, we could check that our GPS dongle is a source of time by typing crony C sources dash V. If you do not see NMEA, reboot the Pi. After rebooting, open a terminal and type crony c sources v, and you should see NMEA at the top of sources. That's it. Now, when the dongle is connected and receiving satellites, it'll update the time on the Raspberry Pi. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below, and make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.